Let me get it at coronavirus. Uh, uh, the uh, 445 uh, stay at home on the uh, 54. Uh, Staying home, uh, it's uh, almost over, uh, but there's uh, no nothing about uh, when uh, the phase uh, three, the three phase uh, is uh, starting. Uh, so please uh, do, do not do not have any, please do not have any gatherings of any kind uh, right now uh, until it starts. And then you can meet up with uh, ten people, up to ten people outside, as long as you're following coronavirus safety regulations and uh, physical distancing. So uh, today's coronavirus cases is surprisingly at nine hundred sixteen cases. I know. This is the this is the first uh, time uh, coronavirus cases that have uh, gotten uh, this low. In a while, last time it was this low it was in February, yeah, uh, but uh, you know, it's been a while. So two hundred twenty-six. Cases are from Toronto, 165 is from Peer Region, 85 is from New York Region. Then that's 67 from Durham Region, 52 is from Hamilton, and 50 is from Ottawa. So all of the regions are uh, reported under 50. Uh, so 13 deaths are reported. Variant cases, uh, so, uh, one hundred twenty five, uh, UK variants, uh, right now, uh, an increase of uh, plus, uh, nine hundred ten. 948, uh, South African variants, which is just an increase of one. Two thousand eight hundred twenty-two uh, Brazilian variants, uh, an increase of a plus uh, eight. Uh, the, our second threat. So technically, uh, today, uh, all so, uh, all three, uh, you know, the big variants uh, are uh, higher in, than uh, the coronavirus cases uh, today. Uh, and uh, the Indian double mutant variant, uh, we don't know because uh, they didn't update it. The, you know, you know how they are. So anyway, uh, if you want to get vaccinated, uh, you know, vaccinate, vaccination uh, booking that uh, is uh, 12, if you were 12 years and up, uh, you can, uh, you can book uh, online covid19.ontario.ca slash book vaccine by phone 1-888-999-6488 at a pharmacy. You'll have to wait uh, through a local uh, health unit that works. Uh, so uh, vaccine uh, bookings are probably not that, you know, they can also uh, do it at pharmacies and special dedicated youth and family clinics uh, 
And youth vaccinations are also available at exclusively at Flop Flops uh, clinics, uh, mobile clinics, and mock in appointments on Tuesday. Youth uh, not aged by 12 uh, can, uh, right now, uh, can uh, book up uh, at the toll free number 1 833 943 3900 or through uh, public health uh, units. The stay at home uh, order on uh, and uh, June second, uh, unless if they notify us that, that they're going to extend it, but I don't know. They didn't. They, there was nothing about it. So June second, it is, and then the three phase, uh, which might come on. Uh, my guess is it might be on a uh, on. The preceding Saturday, or it could be on a Wednesday, or it could be a Tuesday, or it could be a Thursday. Because that's when the special dates always start. So, yeah. Um, so, first deal of uh, first thing I want to talk about. So, you know how uh, the officer of health. Uh, Chief of Medical Health Officer of Health, uh, you know, Dr. David Williams, uh, he was a sort of... Yeah, the, yeah, he was like, uh, he did, did not believe uh, in, uh, in uh, what the doctors and uh, scientists and uh, what they were saying and uh, and if he gave information to uh, Doc Ford uh, late uh, so so the, who is going to be replacing uh, his Dr. David Williams uh, position is uh, King a doctor who is a uh, Tough doctor and uh, who works in the Kingston area of public health unit. Yeah. Dr. Kieran Moore, I've mentioned this man before. So, uh, so starting June uh, 26th, uh, he, he will be replacing, uh, he'll be uh, the, his uh, new uh, position, will also be uh, Ontario's uh, next talk. Top doctor and uh, oh, that's really got much good news now. And also, additionally, uh, the government uh, has uh, mentioned that they will uh, shorten the minimum uh, interval, interval uh, between the doses uh, just four weeks, like, you know, 20, 28 days, four weeks, you know, same things. So, uh, those 80 plus uh, can, uh, can get their. Uh, Coronavirus uh, vaccine shot earlier, thanks to uh, Pfizer uh, BioNTech, uh, the Pfizer Incorporated and Moderna Incorporated, uh, sending out a gross amount of vaccines. Well, actually, more than the usual. And thanks, so thank you to them. So uh, those seventy and uh, up, uh, they will uh, do that. This will be uh, happening around uh, June, the week of June fourteenth. So yeah. So.
which brings me to talk about so so Canada is going to re receive a 2.9 2.9 uh, <laughs> no, almost a 3 million 2.9 uh, million coronavirus of vaccine doses uh, this week from uh, the Pfizer Incorporated and uh, Moderna Incorporated uh, so uh Thanks to Pfizer uh, Incorporated and uh, the BioNTech company. Uh, and uh, so uh, they were not uh, been uh, delivering delivering it. So. Uh, At least a uh, two million uh, vaccine uh, doses uh, per week uh, this month, uh, but uh, we're starting up uh, today and uh, in June onward. Uh, then I'm going to increase that to uh, two point four million uh, per uh, Monday. So. Uh, 500,000 500, uh, shots uh, we're going to be, or uh, Moderna Incorporated will be sending those uh, this week. Uh, and uh, two different separate shipments. Uh, so, uh, the one million doses of the, uh, the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine will be sent uh, by, by the end of the June, uh, but uh, the delivery date has not been confirmed yet. But uh, so the, the Johnson and Johnson uh, one single shot vaccine. Uh, uh, So uh, in, it's unclear whether uh, they'll be available uh, due to safety concerns uh, due to a possible tainting at a Baltimore production facility. So, uh, So the lucky network guys again, getting a uh, more uh, from the, and of course uh, months ago uh, when the provider incorporated mentioned that that, that they why uh, there was a, the reason that they were sending a short amount of uh, vaccine uh, the, was it because that uh, they were upgrading their facility in Belgium, which kind of, ex kind of explains uh, why uh, they're send sending a whole bunch of vaccines now, uh, which which is still, you know, it's a win-win situation, you know. Although I don't really, uh, however, Moderna Incorporated did not mention uh, why uh, they didn't uh, send a delay. There was a delay uh, with theirs because uh, uh, and uh, there's another vaccine uh, that we uh, think uh, we forgot, and uh, it's the Novavax vaccine. Uh, what happened to them? So the Novavax vaccine, I think they were uh, 
there were also a single shot vaccine or something like that. Uh, but I don't know what happened to them. That they, uh, they, I don't know. They just I don't, I don't know if they gave up or something, because we haven't heard from them. It's been months. There's something about uh, them uh, releasing in March, uh, and then yet that didn't happen. Just remember uh, the until uh, you know the the, the EMC <coughs> the EMCPA rule is uh, still in effect. Uh, so uh, officers can can uh, have the full authority to break up any gatherings of any kind, uh, no matter the number. You know, especially if uh, they're not wearing masks or they're not physical distancing. So fines uh, exist from uh, seven hundred fifty dollars uh, per person. Uh, sometimes that uh, one hundred thirty dollars surcharge. Sometimes uh, Port of Police did that to uh, fishers that uh, not from the from uh, the Toronto and nearby. Eight hundred eighty dollars uh, to uh, ride checks. Uh, this is hundred. Which is like a sort of checkpoint uh, that uh, police are just checking if people are following the rules. Uh, if you go through this this area on a certain road that where they're doing right checks, uh, yeah, they have hundred percent right to stop you. It's hundred percent legal. Thousand dollars for preventing others from following orders. Ten thousand dollars for those who organize or plan the gathering. So like uh, those who like uh, planned those like uh, anti-lockdown uh, rallies and and anti-stay-at-home and uh, that stuff, they can get charged. Those who started those uh, can uh, get charged uh, that ten thousand each for those who started it. And one and it gets severe one million dollars if yeah, and possibly jail time. Hospitalization done uh, right now. It's uh, 731 uh, hospital with the coronavirus, uh, okay, minus uh, 18, so that's good. 617 ICU patients, uh, minus 3. 382 uh, ICU patients uh, using a ventilator, that's uh, minus uh, 35, that's excellent. So this is like, way lower than uh, last month, uh, so this is an improvement. Long-term care home that that is uh, is uh, is uh, despite what it says, uh, this is actually a minus minus one uh, with under uh, the uh, three thousand seven hundred seventy-two minus one from the last shown number, which is from May twenty-seven. About like four to five days ago. Now, staff deaths have not, not changed. And uh, 29 outbreaks are right now, so that's lower. Okay, that's good. You know, please uh, follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations and stay at home rules. Uh, don't have any gatherings for the safety of others. Uh, And let's not to forget the fact that like uh, Manitoba is sending uh, ICU patients over here because uh, they're uh, yeah they are going on they have so many patients uh, right now so 
and uh, soon we'll be uh, under uh, stay at home uh, and uh, yeah to uh, end up uh, you know June second. Let's see uh, when the the new uh, phase uh, works and when when that will start. Stay safe. Sign up for vaccinations.